So in this video, I wanted to switch things up and look at a set of colored pencils. This is the Sargent Art set of 50 colored pencils. And this one is really interesting to me, which it sells for just $5 shipped on Amazon, at least here in the US. So I picked it up because I needed some colored pencils to have around the house and I uh, wanted to deliver some thoughts about it. So again, 50 pack, doesn't come in a tin or anything like that, but it's $5, so that's 10 cents a pencil. That's pretty incredible. And here's what you get. You get some packaging, you get 50 sharpened pencils, nicely laid out like this. Uh, and all the basics that you would expect are there. So uh, you get some Ask Me standards, which is nice to see. Uh, non-toxic, and then pre-sharpened seven inch pencils. So standard there, 3.3 millimeter lead. So it's a, a good size lead. Usually you're looking at a larger lead as a sign of quality just to prevent breakage. And then there is the color set. Uh, you can pause if you want to see everything. There's a lot of very close colors, I would say. I noticed that like rose and pink are practically the same color, but once you're getting into the 50 color range, you're not gonna see a huge variation from like every green, obviously. You're getting into a lot of colors, so gonna be less difference from one to the next. Uh, not too much else to say, color pencils, yeah. So this is the sort of color pencils that you would see uh, in an art school or something you would give to students definitely in the affordable range uh, they're not anything fancy they're not oil based or waxy or anything like that it's just a kind of a standard wood a little bit rough uh, very utilitarian colored pencils and again a great one to get for students or to get for kids to draw or in a group environment something like that I was able to grab this coloring book and test these out a little bit. I was actually pretty happy with them. For $5, I think these are a really phenomenal deal. They have, I would say, okay color, pretty good consistency. They're not super light, so there's a fair bit of pigmentation. And uh, they sharpen, I would say, well, but not great. I wouldn't say I'm a colored pencil expert, but I've used enough to know what I'm looking for. And that would be a, a softer type wax, waxier lead. Uh, you know, not waxy, not a pastel or chalky or anything like that, but definitely some give and some pigmentation so that you're not getting too much lightness in the coloring. And again, there's a difference between a light color and a color that isn't gonna come through lightly. And it feels like you just can't get good saturation. And these are bordering on that, but they're not in any way bad. If you get a darker color like this one, they don't say, uh, I guess they do, they do say this is the color, this is the marine blue, uh, but they don't have any sort of, I guess, numbering is what I was looking for. In addition, sometimes to marine blue, this would be color number 50 or something like that. That would just prevent the different blues from getting too confusing. Light, violet, marine blue. Numbers, again, make it a little easier. But anyway, if you do get a darker color, you can see there's okay saturation, but not, it's not great. And that's kind of what you're looking for from a higher end colored pencil, at least what I would be looking for. And then also you're looking for some blendability and that's not gonna happen until you get into the higher end. Uh, especially if you wanna do something more sophisticated with your color pencils, like uh, have them be slightly water soluble to uh, mix them with a water color or mix them and use them as a water color. That's not what you're gonna buy a $5 set for. This is just gonna be for general coloring. And for that you want just good behavior, no, uh, no breakage. And I have had some cracking with these, but they're not that bad. If you get a lead that's smaller than 3.3 millimeter, that's when you're gonna have some serious issues, but you will get uh, more accuracy. 
there. This one at 3.3 for something this fine, you're gonna want to be sharpening them fairly often. Otherwise you're gonna start losing color as that point gets less chiseled. So uh, again, I will revisit colored pencils as a thing in the future with uh, a deeper dive into them. But I would say these Sargent ones are uh, pretty solid for $5, you really can't go wrong. They're not the highest end thing. It's not professional quality or probably not even student quality, but for an entry level set of colored pencils just to have around, $5 is a pretty phenomenal deal. I'm sure that price, like everything else on Amazon, fluctuates and maybe they're seven sometimes, maybe they're you know $3.99 sometimes, uh, but for five, uh, for anything under like 10, I would say it's a really great deal because you don't really get to see the next step up into the you know 20-ish dollar range. And then from there, they can go up to uh, you know a dollar, two dollars, two dollars per, maybe not three, like two dollars, two dollars per pencil instead of 10 cents per pencil. So pretty cool, Sargent Art colored pencils, solid set. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you're an expert about colored pencils, please leave a comment and uh, drop some thoughts on your preferred colored pencils. Thanks for watching.